time, but I'm a little late, so I'm very unprepared. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this mic on because like I'm gonna be looking down and moving around a lot. But welcome, we are here. Can I just say, I'm like off my rocker. I don't know <laughs> because of standardized testing season, but I was like, I literally just like cannot focus on something for that long. Like I was thinking about streaming and I was trying to think of a topic. I was like, I just can't focus on something. We talked about it last week, I think. Um, and how it just like it's a lot to put together the decks. But anyway, we're here to have a good time. We're gonna hang out. I have lots of things. I posted pictures on like Instagram and other places of like what I have. I don't know if we'll do all of it to be honest. Cause like the point of this is like we're literally just here to have a good time. And I do have a list of things to talk about because I am a psycho and like I do really want to talk. But I wanted this to be more of like you know when you go to like lunch or dinner with your friend and you haven't seen them in a long time and you literally just say so many words in such a short amount of time? That's what I want this to be like. So let's talk about some things. So one thing I do want to discuss, also there's otters there because like I, if I, if my attention span is feeling this way, I imagine other people are in the same boat, but the otters are on silent. And also I just ordered a new desk because right now I don't even like this is not on a desk I wish I could show you it's actually on like two high top tables pulled together so like the, there's like legs in the middle it's like I, it's a long story of how I ended up with this but I ordered a better desk so when I get the better desk if we're into this craft thing I can set up like a hand level camera I couldn't now because like there's just so much stuff everywhere and I have no space on this desk um but look at Mike also, couch is here. But anyway, if y'all are into this, I can set up like a hand camera thing so you can like see what I'm doing. So let's check in the chat. Who are we here? A sea otter cam? Yes, and shout out to the Vancouver Aquarium for this. I have a couple different videos, like live streams from different zoos up. Um, so we'll be doing that. And then plus some of the stuff I wanna talk to you about, I'm sure we'll Google it and like have things to say. Let me put TikTok on live because I always forget about them. Like, so recently I've been putting them on before you all, but like, you know what? Let's just chat about it. Like while we're all together in the space, like while we're here without the, the TikTok livers, some of them might be on YouTube. Oh my God. Stop telling me to install updates. You see what I mean? Like the horrors persist. Like, can I live? I'm literally trying to have like an easy time, but anyway, the TikTok live, I feel like it's so like visually jarring, like all like the little emojis that pop up and things like that. Like it's just a lot. Oh wait, there's people talking in the chat. So here for that. The day at work, we knew a storm was coming and I was hoping the power would go out so I could go home. The second I step through the door after work, the power goes out. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Kelsey, you have your teaching license as of today. Welcome to being a teacher. We're doing crafts on the internet because being a teacher is really hard. I hate standardized testing season because like, so one of the things I really love about teaching, and this is like, you think I'm about to go into like a standardized testing is wrong for, and here's the reasons. It is and there are, but for me personally, I hate it because one of the things I love about teaching is it's very structured and it's very routine and I like really, really thrive the most when I have a very structured routine but it's still like different things every day within that same routine. So I never get bored. So like that, I love that aspect of teaching. So when we're doing testing and we're on, um, when we're doing testing and we're on like weird adjusted schedules, I just like, ugh, I feel so unsettled and it's terrible. What happened to the reconstruction streams post Civil War? We are going to do them, but unfortunately I am reviewing for standardized testing with all of my classes. So for me right now, my brain is full of two different standardized tests. So I just like didn't have the capacity to do that this week <laughs> because reconstruction is really important. So I didn't want to do it shitty. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to do it if it's shitty. So when I do it, it's going to be good. So after like, Two weeks from now when my brain is working again, we'll get on that. Um, what else is going on in the chat? I hate being born in late April because my B-day is always during standardized testing, so I couldn't skip school. Oh my God, I was giving the speech. You will not walk at graduation <laughs> if you miss this. I wish you best. Standardized tests are the worst. And like, 
I get why we have them. I get why it's a thing. I don't want to talk about that right now. I just am annoyed. And I have to be in a room that's different from my room, which is jarring for me. But major shout out to my administrators because I had like a little selfish request with the schedule. Just something that was kind of inconvenient for my plans that I was like, mm -mm. and they were very accommodating and they were like, yeah, girl, for sure. And they changed it, which was very nice of them because I didn't expect them to do that. Um, can we post the craft ahead of time and maybe we can do the same crafts with you? Yes. If I do this on like a reoccurring basis, I definitely will do that. These were all from the dollar store and I did post them on Instagram and TikTok. So I should figure out how to post them. I need to do the Twitch stories. I just never really go on Twitch unless I'm like actively live on Twitch. Um, like my Twitch screen time is like zero. But anyway, yeah, so I did post them, but I'll post next time. Like if I get them from like Amazon or I'll post like a link instead of just like the picture of them. You know what I'm saying? So what do we have? So, oh, I remember what I wanted to talk to you about. Let me move my keyboard because I don't even need the keyboard. So Vanderpump Rules, let's talk about it. Actually, I do need my keyboard. Vanderpump Rules has absolutely broken my brain. I still forgot to go live on TikTok. You can see I'm like quite literally a human disaster, but I am really looking forward to this um, being here tonight because I literally just want to hang out and have like a stream of consciousness. But anyway, <clears throat> Vanderpump Rules, if you're not familiar, is the worst show ever made that I am absolutely obsessed with. So I'm going to discuss it, but I'm going to explain it like if you've never heard of it, you'll be fine. So if you saw my Jax Taylor stream and Sheena streams, <clears throat> you'll be extra fine. But anyway, there's a spinoff of Vanderpump Rules called The Valley. Let me pull up The Valley promo um, because The Valley is really no you don't need to know my location to fucking google a tv show i'm sorry you literally just don't um someone suggested i do research live and as much as i loved you for suggesting that i think this is a great example of how long it takes to do everything and i feel like that we would just be on here forever but anyway this is the promo for The Valley. The Valley is a spinoff of Vanderpump Rules, which is ironic because Vanderpump Rules is kind of a spinoff of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, but just kind of. So anyway, I don't really give a fuck about all these people back here, but the woman in the red dress, that's Kristen Doty from Vanderpump Rules. Is she, and let me give some Vanderpump Rules lore. So Vanderpump Rules is a reality TV show that started about a bunch of like 20 somethings. Most of them were wannabe actors and models. They all worked at Lisa Vanderpump who was a real housewife they all worked at her restaurant um and it just like followed their drama as the years went on it's been on for like 11 seasons now as time went on it just started to follow the people and was less about the restaurant so now there's this spinoff where it's like instead of them being like young and partying they're like parents and live in the valley and it's like very much giving suburban but they still drink all the time and argue with each other so it's really it's bravo like i think I think you should understand at this point what the vibes are. Um, I have not looked into Vanderpump Villa at all, but yeah, and the Valley and Vanderpump Rules are on tonight, but if you are a peasant like I am, we have to watch the next day on Peacock. Someone asked me, they were like, oh, why do you stream at the same time as Vanderpump Rules? And I was like, I watch Vanderpump Rules at 6 a.m. on Wednesdays. <laughs> but anyway, the Valley. So that's Kristen Doty. She's in the red. She was on Vanderpump Rules. The guy she's hugging in the blue, I forget his name. He's her new boyfriend. Whatever. We're not really here, here, here to talk about that. Jax Taylor. I did my stream about him. He is a fucking menace to society. He's a narcissist. He's a cheater. I'm pretty sure he's a coke addict. And he's just all around a terrible and irresponsible person. He has gotten arrested for like stupid shit like shoplifting when he was literally a rich person. He's the one with his feet in the pool. In the blue suit. I guess all of them are in blue suits. That's kind of weird. Except that one guy in the purple one. Anyway, the girl holding the hose, that's Brittany. That's his wife. Brittany is unfortunately not a good person either. She's very kind. So everyone thinks she's really nice, but there's a lot of lore about her that she's actually like really racist and has done a bunch of things recently. So that's what I want to talk about is all the drama about what's going on with Jax and Brittany. And like I said, eventually we are going to do 
craft things, but I just really needed to get this out of my system because I literally have been searching for someone to explain this to. And so I'm literally just forcing you all to be a captive audience like my class. I would explain this to them. No, I wouldn't. This is, would take way too long and I would definitely get fired. I can't be explaining Vanderpump Rules to kids. I wish though, they would really eat this up. They love getting me off track with stuff like this. So anyway, back to Jax and Brittany. So Jax has cheated on Brittany many times. One of the times on the show, don't apologize, this is so fun. I'm glad you like it. We're gonna get to the Twitter Sandy Hook denial thing, I promise. One of the times on the show, Jack cheated with this girl named Faith. Faith was a, a server at the restaurant. This was when they were kind of like a little bit still in their restaurant era. And Brittany worked at the restaurant as well because Jack's got her the job. He met her in Las Vegas when she was there with like a bachelorette party for her friend. She's from Kentucky and unfortunately... I just don't think had like the best emotional or literary education in the entire world. Um, and everyone's acting shocked that all this stuff has come out about her and like, she's from rural, she's a white woman from rural Kentucky. I'm sorry. You're shocked. I'll take surprised because she did always come across as very nice and was always saying I'm accepting of everyone. So I'll take surprised, but shocked. You're shocked. But anyway, <clears throat> They date, Jax cheats on her, they break up, they get back together, whatever. They ended up getting married, Jax is still terrible, all that's going on. It has recently come out that apparently when Jax cheated on Brittany, Brittany was saying like super, super racist things about Faith over the phone because Faith has very recently, this happened like a, maybe a week ago, Faith, like, came forward that Bravo basically told her, like, shut the fuck up about this or you're going to lose your job on the show about how one of the girls on the show pulled a knife on her and then a whole bunch of racist stuff that was said to her. And she was, like, pretty much the only black person on the show. There might have been, like, one or two other people that were not featured very much. But in terms of people that, like, were reoccurring in the show, like, she was one of the very few people of color. I mean, like, look at this cast photo. You know what I'm saying? There is more people of color in this cast photo than Vanderpump Rules. I will grant them that. Bravo. Bravo probably had a meeting about it. I guarantee there was a meeting about that at Bravo. Like, fucking, what? I wouldn't pay to be in that meeting. To be in the tokenism Bria Bravo meeting. I just want to observe. I just want to be there and be like, what y'all doing? But anyway... <clears throat> that I've said for the millionth time. All that stuff has come out recently. Let me actually find some headlines and we can talk about it. Oh my God, is my mouse dead? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, there it goes. That was weird. Um, okay, I'll let you keep looking at that. Hey, Brittany racist phone call. <laughs> also, I'm drinking a cherry limeade slushy for the person who asked. Okay, this is formatted weird because the way I have my window on Twitch, so sorry about that. But Faith Stowers says Brittany Cartwright made a racist remark about her during an argument. So Faith Stowers, um, why does everyone want to give me notifications? Like, I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want to be unreachable. I want to be in the forest where no one can call me. No one can text me. No one can email me. But I still want that Wi-Fi to be bumping, to be very clear, to be abundantly clear. That Wi-Fi still needs to be bumping. I need an Ethernet cable in there. Don't call me. Screen time 17 hours. Okay? It's fine. So, Faith Stowers is refuting... Blah, 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 blah. I can't read. This is the problem. This is why I research in advance. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is unreadable. It's unreadable. Everything is an ad. Everything is an ad. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <coughs> oh, and I'm coughing. I have so many drinks with me right now. My slushy and my water. What a great day. So, um, Stowers spoke out about the attacks and apparently Brittany called her hair nappy and was screaming racist remarks at her over the phone is what I read. Um, and Brittany said that she had nothing to do with that. She knows I don't have a racist bone in my body. 
Okay, girl. Okay. And this is someone... I was a Britney apologist for very long. I have been a Britney apologist before. Can't say I'll do it again. Because another thing that they got in trouble for is when they had their wedding, her, like, childhood pastor was going to be the pastor, and then everyone on Twitter was like, your pastor's homophobic, and then they had Lance Bass do it. Um, so I, I was like, okay, at least she fired the homophobic pastor. I mean, she did get yelled at for the entire internet, so she should have just not hired him in the first place. But you know what I mean? She's, again, I'll say, she's from a small town in Kentucky, and you thought her hometown pastor wasn't going to be homophobic? Like, come on. You're shocked? So, my Britney apologies in the past, I thought she had changed. I thought maybe she learned in L.A. Who's to say? I don't think she has. Not a racist of my body. Starts the pipeline to I don't care if you're orange, purple, or green. But anyway... This recently came out about this situation. Um, do, 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 do. So I'm like, Brittany, hey girl, I'm trying to apologize to you. We can please talk. But she was still in that bad space. So she was like cussing and yelling and calling me names and stuff. Um, and yeah, she made the racist remarks and was like cursing at her and all of that. So Brittany, that recently came out about Brittany. And then the other lore beyond that is another thing that happened to Faith is I think it was around this time, Stassi, who's on the show, and Kristen, who was on the show, they both got fired from the show in 2020. Because in 2020, or maybe it was before that, it was a while ago, it was in like a couple years ago, it came out that like to punish Faith, they called the police and said they saw Faith breaking into a car when, like, someone else had broken into a car in that area. They basically tried to, like, frame her for a crime, which I'm pretty sure is a crime to do that. And they got fired from Vanderpump Rules for doing that. So I find it really interesting that now Bravo rehired Kristen for The Valley, and apparently Bravo made an offer to Stassi, but Stassi doesn't want to be on reality TV anymore, which, like, valid. Um, so yeah, I just find that really interesting that like Bravo was like, we are firing them. Two of our stars, they are fired. We have zero tolerance. And then they turn around like a couple years later and they're like, now producing The Valley. And the only reason Stassi's not in it is because she wouldn't give us a number and said, absolutely not. Like, are you joking me? Are you absolutely joking me? But yeah, I just really desperately needed to talk about that with someone. And then it's also recently come out that apparently Britney is like a Sandy Hook denier. Let me pull up the tweets that she had. Um, there's been a lot of not good Britney news lately. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Let me look it up with her last name. I feel like I'm in the FBI right now, so my contacts are really dry. I think it's because of my lashes. Okay. Found it. This, like, grainy photo. So the bottom tweet... I don't think she has anything to apologize for the bottom tweet. I wish I could tell some people how terrible their outfits look on Instagram at times. I think a, that's fine. <laughs> she didn't even say anyone specifically. God, you can't say anything these days. The top one is crazy as hell, though. She said, this is so crazy. Everyone watch. Hashtag Sandy Hook. Who knows? I don't know what that video is, and I'm not going to look it up. But that's not ideal that she tweeted that. Less than ideal for sure. For those of you on TikTok, we don't have a topic tonight. We're just hanging out and we're doing coloring books after I'm done talking about Vanderpump Rules, which will be maybe never. Um, no, we are going to do a coloring books and possibly the Legos as well. So anyway, now I want to show you. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. It was just announced that Jax and Brittany are separated because they were having marital issues. I don't know. Who could have predicted that? Who could have predicted that? Who could have predicted that? And she said, she's like, you can only put up with so much. And she can't say there weren't signs. Because at her bachelorette party, you know how in the club they do like the sign that says your birthday, whatever? 
They held up a sign that said, Brittany, don't do it. We, we tried to tell you. 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 You know, have I been watching The Valley? I think I saw the first two episodes. And I'm going to watch more of it probably, but I don't know. It just doesn't. It's not like top of my priority list. You know what I mean? I joined Lake Side to file for workers comp. Ooh, money. So <clears throat> they recently separated and this is what's fucked up to me, but I'm like 0% surprised mainly. Brittany is apparently staying at an Airbnb because Jax wouldn't leave the house. So she was like, I'm just going to go stay at an Airbnb because he wanted to stay in the house. Like they literally have a toddler now. I think their son is like three years old or something like that. And like be a man, go somewhere. Like, I don't know, go stay at a hotel or something. I don't know. Like, I feel like he should let her have the house. They really truly deserve each other. And I mean that in every single sense of the word. He also convinced her to get a bunch of um, plastic surgery that she really didn't need. And I think he convinced slash she liked to as well. He convinced her to get a boob job. And that was like 100% his idea. If you want to watch my Jax Taylor stream, we get into that like <laughs> very detailed. <laughs> like, I think we spent a while talking about that situation. Um and then after that boob job, she got a lot of other plastic surgery. And I've heard a lot of people say that about plastic surgery is that it can be very addictive. So I feel like he is, he is her villain origin story, even though I think she was probably like racist and things so just from being from a small town in Kentucky, like no offense to Kentucky. I think there's a lot of really educated people that live in Kentucky. I'm saying that the education system of Kentucky is not setting y'all up for success. Like I know it feels like I'm insulting you, but I am on your side. I know that that's probably not reading, but I want you to know that that is how I feel. Just to be clear. But again, to my previous point, I don't think the education system of Kentucky was really setting Brittany up to be like a citizen of the world on TV for millions of people to see. Like, I think she represents America in a way that we so rarely see done authentically on television. You get what I'm saying? I told y'all, I can literally talk for fucking hours. Like, we, I don't know why I ever bothered putting slides together because we don't even need it. I don't fucking need it. But yeah, so they're separated right now, but they still record their podcast together. If I had to record a podcast with my ex, I think I would rather work in a coal mine. I would rather work an overnight shift in a coal mine than do that. I don't understand why they're recording a podcast. Actually, I do because it's probably many. How do people make so much with podcasts? Like, I just don't see that many people sitting down to like Britney and Jax's podcast every single week. But I guess advertiser, I don't know. I feel like these people make a lot of money on Instagram, right? But I just don't see them having a super loyal podcast viewership, but I don't really know. Hopefully you and Miss Frazzle never break up. Don't even say that. Don't even say that. I really don't see that happening. Um, but yes, I did want to show you what recently happened with Jax and Brittany um, because this, I think, just really sums all of it up. So I'll, I'll put it on your window in a second. It's making me do a security check. These fucking assholes. Like, I'm not in the FBI. Leave me alone. So this is at their son's third birthday party that this is a literally like... Hot off the presses, I am giving you breaking news. Breaking, breaking news is what I am giving you. This is their son's birthday party. As if this child has not been through enough. And to make the plot even thicker, the guy taking the video is the brother of one of the stars of Vanderpump Rules, the star that got cheated on by her significant other of like 10 years. So like that's an, a whole nother scandal I won't get into right now. Um, most podcasters make their money by doing reads, ad reads during the podcast. Yeah, I know, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think they would have high enough viewership, like consistent, you know what I mean? Who skimped on the table of all things? Like that cake looks like it was easily hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um... I'm going to go back to the otters now, but 
Let's talk about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I only watched that. So Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I think, and now I am coloring. I have this USA Discovery Color and Learn book, so maybe we'll learn something, or maybe we'll discover that American propaganda has infiltrated the Dollar Tree. Um, also, I didn't have regular markers at my house. For some reason, I only have permanent markers. So I know these are going to bleed like a motherfucker because this is that paper that like, you know, like the coloring, like I'm really, I'm not just showing you like there's not a camera here. It's coloring sheet paper. So we're going to choose which ones we're doing carefully. St. Louis mentioned yes. Wait, when did I mention St. Louis? Did I? Did someone in the chat? I don't know. I have one brain cell. I mentioned this earlier. Back to the sea otter cam. So, um, recycled paper. Yeah, like it's thin for coloring. But all I have is Sharpies. Knock off Sharpies at that. Why can't I get this container off? Like, hello? Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. It's my office and I can throw trash on the ground if I want to. Cause you know who's gonna clean it up? Me. Why do they make this so hard to open? The otters are live. They are not my otters. These are otters at the Vancouver Aquarium. Um, there's none on the cam right now, but they are here. The otters have left the chat. They really did. They said, girl, bye. Maybe there was a guy here earlier. Let's try a different animal. Um, penguins? Oh, this is previously recorded, you liars. Is this one live? I don't see them either. Let's go back to, let's see what's going on at the San Diego Zoo. Giraffe cam. Oh, this is an 11 hour video. Why can't I get a live stream? I wanna see them live. Maybe we'll see them. This is, what the hell is this? I don't know what this is. Let's find something. I only want lives. Live tiger cam at the San Diego Park Zoo. No, nah, St. Louis definitely has the best setup. Bring back the otters. Where were the otters? Oh, here they are. They'll come back. I'm confident that they'll come back. Maybe it's dinner time, but that's the thing. I think I saw someone feed them on camera earlier. Okay, help me pick which one we're going to do. There's the entire United States of America. That's giving reliable. It's giving boring, though. Like, I feel like we can do better. I don't think I want to do New England. Really not into this. The jellyfish cam at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Can you send me a link? Does anyone know if the St. Louis Zoo is still free? Oh, that's when I mentioned St. Louis. Why? I'm... Hello? Um... That's cool that it's free. I was just watching Real Housewives of Orange County and don't spoil it for me. I'm on season 11 where Megan is from St. Louis. I don't like any of these either. I'm going to wait till I have a good one to show you and then I'll see if you're into it when I'm into it. Get me out of the Northeast. Like God, it's colleges and mountains. I'm not interested. Why are North Carolina and South Carolina together? They don't get independent identities. What the hell is this? Oh, I kind of like the Florida one. What do we think about Florida? Is Florida giving? Is Florida giving? I need a new um, season of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, too. Here, let me... I'm trying to copy your link that you sent me. Let's see if we can open it. Oh, this is nice. You're right. Is there music? Very peaceful. We'll check in on the otters later. Because this is what we'll watch for now. I will see what the Georgia one looks like. It's not as good. It's just like... Just giving like the state. I think the Florida one is better. And then it's talking about the Georgia Aquarium. Like, out of everything, you pick that. So Florida is my number one contender right now. Interesting. Atlantic territories, Puerto Rico. 
Oh, this one kind of eats. What is this? Kentucky and Tennessee? I'm thinking Kentucky and Tennessee. Right now we're between Florida and Kentucky and Tennessee. I'm very chill and very good at having fun, and that's why I have to pick my coloring page strategically to maximize how good it is. No, settled, we're doing Illinois. We're doing Illinois. Illinois is all dinosaurs and we're doing Illinois. And I don't really know anything about Illinois. I'm gonna make the dinosaurs pretty. What's on the next page so I can make sure that I'm not ruining it? Oh, it's the plains. Yeah, we're gonna stick with Illinois. Yeah, you were right. It was the Missouri page. So what's everybody up to? What's everybody talking about? This coloring book is from uh, Dollar Tree. There's nothing in Illinois. Don't worry. Wait. I don't understand this little fill in the blank. It says the blank state. Do you understand this? Do you get it? Like take a moment, take a screenshot, whatever. What is that asking me? Popcorn Route 66, Lincoln Top Hat Route 66, Top Hat Eagle. What? You see that, right? Is that not the weirdest thing you've seen in your life? Like, am I actually one of the dumbest people I've ever met? Is there a key somewhere? I don't know. I didn't check. There's word searches in the back. I don't see one. Prairie? Oh, maybe you're right. Oh, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wow. I feel like that was not intuitive at all. Print Illinois. Like on one page you're printing Illinois and then the other page it's like hieroglyphics, Jesus. Okay, focus. Look, they're going to be pretty. Oh my God. I'm just going to like do this ugly. I don't really care. Um, cause we're here to have fun. I, you know, what pisses me off is when Bob Ross, like I'm so, I'm such a fucking hater to get pissed off at Bob Ross when Bob Ross is like painting and he's like, oh, see, just fucked up, just fucked up, colored outside the lines. I taught preschool. I should know better than that. Um, when Bob Ross is painting and he's like, don't worry about making mistakes. We're just here to have fun. Yeah, easy to say when your shit looks awesome, dude. Like, that's kind of like when people that are, like, undeniably fucking gorgeous, like Sydney Sweeney, are like, I really don't think looks matter. What's on the inside matters. Easy. Easy for you to say. Very, very easy for you to say. It's expeditiously easy for you to say, actually. Um, also, recently, in the Bravo Universe... Real Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, because someone was asking about it earlier. Crystal announced that she's leaving. She kind of alluded to she is not leaving, like getting fired. Like she alluded it to being more like I'm choosing to leave. So very interesting for her. We have one pink dinosaur now. What color should I paint another one? I kind of think I want to go this one and I want to go like a purple blue. I'm glad that I have the big pack of markers. I hate how my hair gets on everything. Like, it's really rude, honestly. Very rude. I should have had colored pencils. I had some at school. I should have brought one of them home for this. I'm making friendship bracelets. That's fun. I was gonna um, get friendship bracelet making kits to do with my students after their exams because I have been working my ass off. So once that exam is over, like, don't call, don't text. Like, we're still going to learn and do stuff, obviously. One of those things being friendship bracelets. I'm not just going to, like, do nothing for a month. Because that would be unprofessional and rude. But you get what I mean. Like, it's not going to be like, oh, we got to fucking, like, learn every day. The bell ringer is targeted and DI. Like, we can just, like, slow our roll a little bit. Hmm. I'm not loving the way the Sharpies are looking on this coloring book. It's, like, kind of not giving what I need it to give. So we might switch over to Legos. But I am really enjoying this. I kind of forgot how relaxing coloring is. I've been giving my students coloring sheets recently, and this is making me think we need to be doing that, like, way more than we currently are. It's kind of hard to, like, not paint their little toes, though. See, it's, like, purple-blue. 
I'm going to finish this guy and then we're going to come back to it. This is also why when people are like, oh, can you send the craft so that we can do it along with you? I knew that this is exactly how this is going to happen because I really don't have any attention span. And part of this is so that you can know like which crafts stick and which ones don't. Um, and this coloring book, so I feel like if I had better equipment, it would be sticking, but I don't have that equipment right now. So it's just not. Yeah, I'm done. I only did half of his face, but I don't really care. I kind of like it. It looks like he has a ski mask on. Let's get into these Legos. What's going on in the Lego universe? And I lost my drink. Um, I'm taking a break from writing a paper about the 1741 conspiracy. What's that? Buttercup, thanks for subscribing with Prime. I love that for us. I have kids coloring books because the adult ones are too stressful. No, like, that's such a good point because, and these are for kids. Um, like, why is the adult one, like, Picasso? Just, like, let me be normal. I have two updates. I went paintballing over the weekend and fell into mommy vlogger drama on TikTok. What's going on with the mommy vloggers on TikTok? Where are the otters? Bring them back. Bring back the otters. Are the tigers there? No, no tigers. I'm still going to wait for the otters. I refuse to give up on them. These penguins are from the other day, so I don't really like that because it says it's live, but it's not. Let's take a minute to talk about how James has Raquel's dog. Oh my God, such a good point. So more in the Vanderpump Rules universe. So you know what? We are going to talk about Scandaval. Let's do some Legos and let's talk about Scandaval. And this is why I actually tweeted earlier. I don't recommend watching Vanderpump Rules because it will actually take up your entire brain. After that, also, these are the Legos that I'm doing. They're flowers. Ages five and up. I got this at Kroger which was so random. It was just by the checkout. And I was like, what? I'm moving in May and I'm going to have a breakdown from all the stuff that I got to do. I moved in June and it was actually so awful. Like the, I'm happy I moved and like, it really wasn't that bad. Like not that much went wrong, but I just hate moving. Kind of that same thing I was saying earlier, like the routines. And for me is like just routines for me is a big thing that I need. And so moving just really disrupts that. Couch recommendations? I'm not really the person to ask. I have bad couch taste. No, don't fall. Is that everything? Is that everybody? Are there directions? I feel like I need directions. I kind of like having directions. Agreed about Vanderpump rules consuming your brain. No, like I actually think I might need to like go to like see a therapist about it because like that's not normal. Okay, this seems easy enough. I love clear directions. I guess this is literally for a five-year-old, but I'm having a good time, so <laughs> whatever. Um, so let's actually, before we talk about Scandaval, because that's going to be like a whole thing and I'm going to have to look up pictures. So we're going to take a little VPR break. And I just want to ask, what topics do you guys, yeah, I'm really digging the Legos. Why can't I do this? I'm really digging the Legos more than I was digging the coloring. I'm going to be honest, even though I can't figure out how this works. Maybe I should read the directions that are written for a five-year-old. Oh, it works like that. Exactly how you would think. Shocker. Um, so what other stream topics do you want? Yeah, this is scratching an itch because I also don't have fake nails. Like I used to always have fake nails, so I've never even really thought about doing Legos in like recent history, but this is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna do this like every week. Wow. I need to get Legos for my classroom. How do I get you on here? Oh, like that. Tricky little bastard. Fast fashion stream. Oh my God, we have this like little, I don't wanna call it an inside joke because it's with like my whole class. So I don't think an inside joke is with like 30 people. Um, But we go, we go it's called she and shame because like sometimes they ask me where I got stuff and I ask them where they got stuff and we always go sheen and it's like the sheen of shame but this is the thing with sheen I think that they are terrible and I think that all fast fashion is terrible but I also think you can purchase from fast fashion and not make it fast do you get what I'm saying? Like you make the choice on how long you use that you obviously quality is a factor but like if you take care of your stuff you know, like I try not to do the sheen thing just because it's terrible for the environment. 
But years ago, I was like buying Shein, not those people that are like $900 Shein haul, but like if I wanted to get new bathing suits, that's where I would get it. And I still have a ton of that stuff from like five, six, seven years ago. So I don't think like, it's obviously important to be conscious of where you buy stuff from, but I think that there's like degrees to that. And I think it's like, if you're using your stuff, you don't need to like feel bad about stuff that you already own. You know, it's not helping anybody. I working in retail, we are the worst over consumers. Exactly. And especially like when I've worked in like hotels and things like that, and I've seen how much corporations waste, it's just like the day-to-day -day decisions we make don't feel as big when you see what like what the corporations are doing. I know like what we do is important, but what they do is more important, so Huh? Oh, I understand. I understand. I like how I keep being confused when the directions are for five year olds. One, two, three, four. Apparently the labor situation nowadays is better in China than the U.S. for sweatshops. Interesting. McDonald's Monopoly would be so fun because it was so obvious. It's crazy the amount of stuff that retail throws away. Like, give me the tea. Like, what is retail throwing away? I worked in retail for, like, two months. It was terrible. I couldn't do it. I was so bored. Um, but what are y'all throwing away? Did you see that doc? No. I don't know what you're referring to. I've been very behind on my TV game recently. Y'all should see the plastic waste alone in our shipment. Oh, I do believe that. I believe that. So look, this is the little leaf. We're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. That's what I call, call talent. I wish we had more Legos. I should have gotten more. Actually, this was the only one they had because I did think this was going to happen. Um... Archie Sweets subscribed with Prime, period. Period. I'm excited for getting a new desk and setting up a hand camera so that there can be like a me. And then I'll still do the jellyfish. The There will be like a little camera, maybe like in some of the black space at the bottom or something. I don't want it to be overpowering, you know? Like I don't need y'all to be looking at my cuticles like that because I did just eat chicken wings. So there's probably like orange dust on me somewhere. Am I the only person that when I cook, I will literally wash my hands like to the point of nausea. Like, if there's a single thing on my hand, I have to wash it immediately. Um, like, it's like a texture thing for me. It took me a year, but finally figured it out. District telling me to throw out curriculum every few years. God. I hate throwing stuff away. I'm such a hoarder when it comes to my classroom. It's actually kind of disturbing. Like, I was looking at all these giant stacks of paper I have. I would say this year is the worst year of me being, like, a paper hoarder and, like, refusing to throw anything away because this is my first year that I'm really on, like, a paper-based vibe, except for my very first year teaching. I gave everything on paper for the most part, but I discovered Nearpod, like, six months into teaching. So, like, since six months into teaching, I've been a, like, very tech-based person, but some of my students don't have Chromebooks, and I'm just kind of, like, into the paper thing. I think kids are spending way too much time on technology. So, like, with a lot of my classes, I'm using a ton of paper, which shout out to y'all that Amazon wishlist really did become through. Um, but I just have, like, giant stacks everywhere, and I feel like it's so wasteful, but I'm sure the military is doing worse. I'm building this too fast. Like I said, I should have gotten more. I'm going to get like a bigger kit next time that we can do like the whole time. Look, they're so cute and gorgeous. Now to make them real life flowers. Look at us. Who would have thought? Not me. Does anyone else's brain do that? Like you don't even have thoughts. It's just memes. Like what's, what's going on there? Why do I have another one of these? I think I have too much. I don't know if I have that piece, sir. Um, I literally printed screenshots of my textbooks to put in binders because I cannot do online readings. That was so real of you. Yeah, exactly. I want to start using my books more. I feel like I never use my books, but it's partially because, like, I haven't read the whole book and I'm very picky. Like, when I give them passages, I'm like, I really, like, sometimes I'll see the book say something and I'm like, why did you phrase that that way? And so I, a lot of times, I don't write them, but, like, the same way I do on stream, like I like pick and choose and grab and mash together. So, because I'm like, I want you to learn things in a way that's like just very straightforward of the events, not any weird secret underlying messages of like propaganda vibes. 
just want you to learn. Because a lot of, like, especially because right now I'm teaching the Cold War. Um, the creator sets are cool because they're three in ones. So you can make all three of them if you want. Oh, love Legos? What is that? But anyway, especially because I'm teaching the Cold War, a lot of stuff about communism is written in a very, like, emotional way. And I'm like, I think this author, like, needs to remember that they're writing, like, an academic piece and not, like, a personal thing. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I get a lot of people have a lot of feelings about it, but, like, let's stick to the facts. Let's talk about the who, what, when, where. We don't need to get into the way that it made you feel. <clears throat> when did the Cold War end? We're waiting. We are waiting on the Cold War to end. We are waiting. Oh, I understand. I was like, I have to be missing something. Why does theirs look so much better than mine? Ha 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 ha. This is gonna be like cute. Do you see this? This is very cute. Communism stole my freedom and my girlfriend. It's always the girlfriend. It is always the girlfriend. God. So let's start talking about Scandal Some. Actually, we never finished our earlier point. What else do y'all want to see on stream? Once I'm done with Real Housewives of Orange County, which will probably be a while, um, I am going to stream about Vicki Gunvalson because I think she is absolutely fascinating. Like Vicki Gunvalson, I think really does need to be studied in a way that is just so, so, so important. Um, so Vicki Gunvalson will be one, but that's not for a while. What else do y'all want to learn? What history topics do you want to learn? Do you want to learn Cold War stuff? I think a lot of people might be a little too, like, recent for that. Have you done One Direction? No, and I cannot do One Direction justice. I know that a lot of you, like, are really passionate about One Direction, and I love that for you, but I was just never that person, so I just know I'm not going to do as good of a job as I need to. Look at how fucking cute that is. Are you kidding me? This is the part of consumerism I love. When you get a little shiny piece of plastic that just triggers all those part of your caveman brain to like think that you're good and safe and like you can eat something and you're just like, wow, shiny, colorful thing. Anything after the 1990 Iran hostage crisis. Teaching the Iran hostage crisis is so hard because they literally... They smash it into a unit where there's so much to teach. So you only have like five seconds to teach it. And it's so confusing and so complicated. And the situation leading up to it is so complicated. And you just can never do it justice. And it's so confusing. And a lot of kids like really don't have a good geographic understanding because the U.S. education system is kind of a mess, which like if you're mad about that, I'm surprised this is the first you're hearing about this. Look. It has a little hat. This kind of looks like it should be a part of a person thing. But anyway, teaching the Iran hostage crisis is so hard. Look at it. Like, you see what I mean? That looks like the head of, like, a person is what that should be. I remember my teacher blaming the whole thing on Carter and basically leaving it at that. And that's kind of what America did. And honestly, I don't know that much about it. Like, I should know more for the fact that I'm teaching it. Um... One, two, four. Five-year-olds don't know multiplication. Times four? Five-year-olds can't do that? My brain is five today. J. Edgar Hoover? Mm -hmm. I'm not, like, this might be problematic of me, but, like, I'm really not... I'm confused. This might be problematic of me, but I'm really not into the presidents. Like, I know that that's bad or whatever, but, like, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot more interesting things we could be discussing than the presidents. A lot of them are only there for four years. A lot of them are only there for eight years. And just a lot of other stuff happens. And they really, when you look at the arc of history, look at this petal. When you look at the arc of history, they're, most of them are, like, very forgotten. So, just something to think about. How do you work? Hmm? <laughs> I think I need to put all of these together and then it'll make sense. I'm going to be so mad if I can't figure this out. Okay. I think that's definitely right how I'm doing it. I think just the way I'm adhering it is wrong. Otters. Let's see if the otters are here. Otters, where are you at? No, where the hell are they? We'll leave them on here a little bit. We have not talked about JoJo Siwa's music. Let's actually live react to that right now because I haven't watched it. 
Like, I saw everybody talking about her, um, oh, that's what I did wrong. I understand. I saw everybody talking about her music video. There we go. That's better. I saw everyone talking about her music video, but I, ha I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it. I have done nothing of the sort. So let's watch it. YouTube. Karma by Jojo Siwa. My dry ass contacts. Yeah, the I did not enjoy that. That was not an ideal situation for me. Um, thanks so much for everyone who brought that to my attention. But unfortunately, we will never be doing that again, which is fine. Oh, I think I'm doing this correctly now. I think while we watched that, I gained brain cells. She wants to be viewed as not a kid anymore, but the person who wrote this literally wrote it for just... <laughs> that is embarrassing at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, it is quite, quite embarrassing. Does this go like that? Yep, there we go. There we fucking go, making it look like the picture. Maybe it summoned the otters. The otters are like, girl, bye. Like, the fuck? The otters have been exiting the chat after seeing that. I wanna be an otter right now. They don't know about money or credit cards or anything. Let's go back to the jellyfish. I'm kinda mad that the otters are like not here. I should have done more like research about a zoo live stream. I literally just pulled up like five random ones that were from like, the only thing I did was like, I wanted to be a real zoo. Um, I just pulled up like these couple random ones and like you saw pre-recorded where you can't see them and I get like they have big enclosures so it's good that we can't see them but like what I'm saying is I want higher production quality like I want you guys to have multiple angles on the otters like I want the otters to be in an enclosure that is large that is acceptable for them, that they're happy in, that they're healthy in. And I want that enclosure miked and cammed up like the fucking Jersey Shore house. That's what I'm saying I want. I don't want the otters to just be in a small viewable area. I want the otters to be thriving and I want to see that. This one doesn't look as much like a flower. I will say this one is way cuter than this one. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Like, I'm not here to judge, but you know what I am? I am here to judge. And I have an extra little pole, I think. Yeah, I do. Where the heck did you come from? <clears throat> and an extra one of those things? Interesting. Oh, no, I knocked it over. Um, I love jellyfish so much they don't have brains i'm jealous my boyfriend got me the lego wildflower bouquet for valentine's day and it was so fun san diego zoo the penguin cam i was looking at the penguin cam that they had on youtube but it wasn't working for me it said it was recorded hell yeah hell yeah thank you this is what i wanted I don't want to talk to the San Diego Zoo virtual assistant. I'm sure you're great at what you do, but I really don't want to talk to you right now. The penguins at the San Diego Zoo are hanging out. Lego packs with extra pieces in case you lose them. But I wish they put one of every extra piece. Do they just pick at random? That feels really chaotic to me. Um, I think this one's going to be cute, but I think we kind of started on too high of a note. Like the cutest one was first and like we're never going to be able to relive that hype again. You get what I'm saying? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, once we're done with this, we'll talk about Scandaval and we'll just go through that tonight because that's really all that's on my mind is school and Vanderpump Rules and I don't want to talk about school. So we're going to talk about Vanderpump Rules because <laughs> that's all I have capacity to do. I'm so excited for this summer though and I feel like I'm just like ready to get to it. Like I'm ready to be having fun. I'm ready to be not working. I'm ready to be chilling and I'm just imagining like when I would be in corporate America and I knew like summer was never coming and it would be summertime and I would literally feel like I was committing a crime. I was like you guys, it's summer. We shouldn't be working right now. And I'm so happy to have summers off. If you're a teacher, don't be ashamed of being happy to have summers off. Like, we don't have that many perks. We should get some. Um, This is the middle. Looks like a cartoon character. Do you guys remember that show, Roly Poly Oli? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I am referring to? 
that's not what color that is in your little picture thing. Next time we do a craft, I'd like to do perler beads. Interesting. I also thought about doing diamond painting. I have diamond painting in my closet from like years ago that I never finished. That's like literally just sitting there half done that I've trucked around to various homes I've lived in. Um, yes, we're into the diamond painting. Once I get my new desk will be here this week. And so probably not this upcoming week, but the one after I'll have like a better setup for stuff like this. And we're, this is not taking over the informational streams, like I said, but it'll be like a once in a blue moon thing. Um, and I'll set up a hand camera for it. So do, 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 do. And then I just made these kind of like weird little petal things. I've done diamond painting. I liked it, but it's like messy. Really? I feel like that's one of the things I liked about it is you don't really have to clean up. Oh, I kind of think this one is actually going to be cute. Sorry for shading it. My aunt pierced my ears in her kitchen and me and my cousin watched Roly Polioli. That is truly a lot. I don't. That's a lot to unpack. Thanks for sharing that because that is... So like, do you dislike Roly Polioli or you're into it or like neither? Do you have feelings about Roly Polioli? Are you traumatized? What about cooking streams? So I want to do that, but I'd have to move like my computer and my whole setup. And then like my kitchen and living room are connected. So I also would be kind of like commandeering my entire house. Um, so maybe, but we'll see. What I might do is cooking streams outside on the black stone, but that might be like a special thing that we do. And like, like as like a morning thing or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Why won't this one go? What's going on? What's happening? This one little piece won't stay on. Oh my God. My contacts hurt so bad. I hate, I hate contacts. I don't know how you guys do this every day, every day of your lives. This is the only time I ever wear contacts is like when I'm actively live streaming. Um, a cooking stream would be fun. Cheese steaks on the Blackstone. I have not made cheese steaks on the Blackstone. Have not done it. There we go. We did it, Joe. We did it. Okay. This was so cute. I'm like actually so obsessed with this. The only thing I will say is it's not very structurally stable. I already knocked it over multiple times, but the yellow flower turned out much cuter than expected. Look at that. That's so fun. I really enjoyed this. I'm shocked at how much I liked playing with these Legos just now. That was great. I don't like that it came with these three random extra pieces. I know you guys said they do that to be nice, but I don't think it was nice. I just didn't really enjoy that. Like, it just made me feel like I did something wrong. You know what I mean? Thoughts on Vanderpump Joe. Oh my God. Okay. So let's start talking about Scandal and Vanderpump Rules again. This is really like 90% of our conversation tonight, but I'm glad that I bought all these crafts because I'm sure I'll use them at some point in time. So anywho, if you could be on a Bravo show, which one would you choose? What I would actually prefer would be to be like a reoccurring person on Watch What Happens Live because I do have kind of like a, I don't know, I don't think I would like being on a reality TV show. Like I think it would be very intense for me and like I'm pretty introverted. It depends. Like I'm very in the middle so I think like teaching is very extroverted. So in my personal life, I'm very introverted. And then like, this is very extroverted. So I don't know. I just don't think I would like that. Um, the one that I would make an exception for, like, okay, not make an exception for, but I would not want to be on like Real Housewives where it's just about my life because like some things I just like don't want to talk about. And like, I don't know. I just feel bad for them when like deeply personal things happen. And one thing I would be into is I would be on a reality TV show about like a job because to me that's a little less like personal and I guess that's how Vanderpump Rules started. Um, as an autistic child I always had to add the extra pieces to the build because why are they there if not to build with? Such a good point. Such a good good point. Let's see if the otters are back. I keep clicking the wrong one. These otters are on vacation. They're inside. They said, no more, we're done. So let's explain Scandal. I would love a reality TV show about teachers, but the legalities of that are very questionable. Having kids on camera as child actors. Eh, I'm not saying no one would do it, just saying it's kind of questionable. So let me pull up the Vanderpump Rules cast from pre-Scandal. 
Um, Kerchow. Wow, my eyeballs are like actually fighting for their lives. I think one of my contacts is on inside out is what I think is happening. So this is the cast of Vanderpump Rules. This is going to be like all spoilers. So there's obviously Vanderpump Rules is on like right now, actually. So it'll not be talking about what's happening tonight. I'm going to just like lay down. Like that's just the vibe that we're on right now is I'm laying down now. Um, so this is going to be like current moment in time, but I know most of you don't watch it. So it's, it's what's happening. We're spoiling it. So this is Katie on the left. Katie used to be married to Tom Schwartz. Tom Schwartz is this guy um, wearing the tan suit second from the right with the brown shoes that has kind of like a weird vibe about him. I have trust issues with contacts. I feel like they're always in wrong. Me too. I hate contacts so much. Um, so they used to be married. He kind of sucked as a boyfriend. He cheated on her a couple times, but not like an affair. Like he like made out with people in Vegas and like did bullshit like that. Um, and overall just like really didn't prioritize her at all and just like kind of treated her not great. So she did leave him and divorced him. That happened a while ago. And like, obviously there was drama cause it's reality TV, but it was like pretty amicable. Like it seemed like they got divorced, just shit happens, whatever. So that's Katie and Tom Schwartz. We'll call him Schwartz from now on. Next, second from the left, blonde hair, looks literally like a goddess walking among us. That is Ariana. Ariana is, how do I explain this? She was in a very long relationship with Tom Sandoval. Tom Sandoval is the one to her right. We'll call him Sandoval because there's two Toms. You're not going crazy. So we'll call him Sandoval. Sandoval and Ariana were together for like 10 years. Sandoval was in a relationship when him and Ariana started dating. Oh, show TikTok the crafts. Yeah, that's what we made. It's Legos. This one's messed up. There we go. It's Legos. So Tom Sandoval and Ariana, they're like together for 10 years, but ultimately he did cheat on his girlfriend with Ariana and then started dating Ariana. Um, a queen sent from heaven. That's how you explain this. Tom Sandoval cheated on Ariana. Oh my God, the most important person is missing from this photo. Let me pull her up. Let me find an older cast photo. Tom Sandoval cheated on Ariana. Tom Sandoval is low down and sucks and they had been having relationship issues for a long time, but you know, you still don't cheat. Don't be rude. So here, let me find, this is a cast photo that has more people in it. So do, 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 do. Tom Sandoval on this one, he's the guy in the front on the left with the mustache. Ariana is the one on the far right in the black dress with the side cutouts. Tom Sandoval not only cheats on Ariana, her his like girlfriend of 10 years who he had owned who he owned a home with, all the things, cheats on her with her very close friend, Raquel, who now goes by Rachel. Apparently her real name all along was Rachel. Raquel is the one in the spaghetti straps with the kind of like this thing with like the short bob. She's towards the right, like right next to Ariana, but like more in the back. Yeah, that's her. So super fucked up that he cheated on her. Very, very lame. She's everything and he's just Ken. Oh, I did see that um, uh, tweet that you just sent about Rachel. Rachel. Katie looks so much chicer with the short hair. She really does. She really, really does. Um, we'll go back to this photo because I think this photo is easier to understand. To Oh, wait. No, I still need to talk about Raquel. How do I reopen my close tab? There we go. So Raquel, she had been in a long-term relationship with James. James is the guy towards the front on the right. He has like the... I don't know, kind of like one direction ass haircut. He's in the Navy suit, like fucking everyone else. The guy in the front on the right side. That's what I'll tell you. This is all about a restaurant. So that's what I was saying is it started with them all working at Lisa's restaurant. Lisa's in the middle. 
but now none of them work at the restaurant and it's just about their lives and this like cheating scandal that happened and yeah so it's really like taken a left from its roots so not only does tom sandoval cheat on his girlfriend of 10 years it's with her friend who's also his very close friend's ex and he's like 15 years older than her and he just looks like a worm and is so gross and nasty and then apparently he refused to move out of the house that he lives in with ariana so they've just both been like awkwardly living together in this weird like standoff situation where they like don't talk and they eavesdrop on each other and it just seems like very toxic and very very rude and annoying and I just am absolutely obsessed with this show and then another aspect of this is that like it broke that they were having the affair like on social media and all of these things and everyone thinks that Tom Schwartz knew about the affair because Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval are like this they own a business together and I think Tom Sandoval is a narcissist and he really controls Schwartz and I ultimately think he's the reason that Katie and Schwartz got divorced because I think Katie was like you choose your fucking best friend and business partner over your wife because Tom Sandoval would talk shit about Katie all the time and like you don't let someone talk shit about your fucking wife to you. Like, that's crazy as hell to me. Like, I'm very much, like, I think husbands should be literally willing to die to defend you. So, like, to have your best friend talking shit about your wife, it's just really not clicking for me. It's not making sense at all. Um, But, yeah, very intense situation. Let's see if I can find some YouTube about Tom and Ariana living together because that's what's crazy to me. I don't want like, I want footage from the show. Okay. I found. Tom Sandoval and Ari Automotics feel awkward. Random crossover with Tonight. When he was filming that reality show, Jojo Siwa was on the show and she actually carried him. Let me find the photo for you. This night is actually coming together so well. Um... Guys, I need help. Side of me, that determination, that drive. So, just wanted you to know that when he's talking about the hardest time of his life, he's referring to JoJo Siwa carrying him up a mountain, which would be <laughs> really emotionally humbling. Our life. I... Tom Sandoval equals a lying narcissist. And to think Sandoval used to be my favorite. Never again. That's a character flaw in you. I never liked him. I want to go on the record saying I never liked him. Sandoval looks like a 70s gay porn star. I don't think that's insulting. Um, I can't stand the look of his mustache. This look is so outdated. Trash human being. Cheaters are never to be trusted. He's so arrogant and thinks he's the number one guy in the group. I hope he loses everything and his family disowns him. <laughs> Realize. This is my favorite thing is watching something and pausing it every two seconds to explain it to you. <laughs> it's like you give a shit. Um, so he would always talk shit about Ariana and say that she was like basically lazy to live with or whatever. And he was like... Like, we have pens in the drawer. We have trash bags. That's because I go buy them. She doesn't do anything around the house. And, like, okay, you bought trash bags and garbage. Or garbage bags and pens. And I know that seems just like an offhanded comment. He's said it multiple times. And now that they're not together because she dumped him immediately, he's continued to be like, she doesn't fucking buy any fucking pens. We never have pens because she doesn't buy them. I could ask. He wants to have a birthday party, okay. so he wants Ariana to stay at a hotel. And Ariana has rightfully so told Tom Sandoval she can only speak to he can only speak to her through someone else, either her lawyer or his assistant. And everyone's saying she's dramatic for that. Like, a lot of people online are talking shit about Ariana, and they're really making Ariana to be, like, the villain out this season, which I think is so fucking disgusting and so misogynistic, and I literally think we should just be hating on this man for, like, decades to come. Um, I'm gonna get fucking banned for hate speech on TikTok again. Um, but anyway... I think that that's so valid of her because like this man is a narcissist and if you've never been in a relationship with a narcissist, I don't want to hear your fucking opinion about it because her cutting off contact is the correct thing to do. Like you continuing to talk to a narcissist is feeding them and her cutting off contact is the absolute correct thing to do. And then a bunch of the people on the show are talking shit about her because like, why didn't you get an apartment? Why didn't you get an apartment? 
She owns that house. They purchased it together. I'm not a fucking lawyer, but I know if you leave for a long period of time, you give up some legal rights in some aspects. And he was really trying to like buy it from her, but buy it based on the purchase price, not of the value. And so like, she has to be fucking smart and keep in mind, like I know to, they're very famous to us, but keep in mind, they were not famous not that long ago. So it's not like she has like decades and gazillions of dollars. I'm sure she's doing way better than any of us, but I'm just saying it's not like she's like a Rockefeller and has unlimited money. So she's not going to be willing to just fucking eat the biggest investment she's ever made. Like, are y'all stupid? Like literally everyone that's talking shit about her for not leaving the house. I'm like, I bet you've never read a contract in your life. You'll just fucking sign anything. Pipeline complete. Right. themselves in the media recently. What's going on? What's the 411? What's happening with everybody? Um, let's do a pink. Let's do another pink one. He had to take a second mortgage out to fund his dumb bar with Schwartz too. Yeah, they had like a lot of financial weirdness going on. So I get why Ariana was like, I'm not doing this. Sonic, yeah, sometimes I'd be in a Sonic moment. We already watched the JoJo Siwa video. We already watched JoJo. Brittany, yeah, I was talking about Brittany at the beginning and all of her shit with Jax right now. Um, let's watch, like, a Brittany and Jax compilation. That sounds nice. That'll be a nice, like, smooth brain moment for me. Sorry for the YouTubers right now, because I'm sure this is getting cut. Why can't I type? Brittany and Jax compilation. There better be one. Oh, here's a sneak peek for the valley. And it's just not scratching that itch that I need. We'll go back to the penguins. Oh, hate that, hate that, hate that. Let me find like a different Jax compilation because I still want to do that. Love making fun of him. Like I said, don't watch Vanderpump Rules. It'll take over your entire brain. New window. YouTube. What the flip is up, tubers? And Brittany was on a podcast recently. Is that what I want? I don't think so. This is all of Jax's lies, season one. This feels perfect. When was the last time you and Stassi spoke oh, to each other? Had a Stop. Okay. What do you think? Chris said you didn't. Where'd you sleep last night? What do you think? Chris said you didn't sleep there. In the car. Why wouldn't you sleep at Tom's? I just didn't want it. I have a blanket pillow. I was fine. I had to get up early and wait for shoot anyway. Not a big deal. Parked in front of our apartment? Oh, why don't I have a southern accent? One, some people say I do have a southern accent. My boyfriend is very much team. I have a southern accent. Um, but my mom grew up in, like, Washington, D.C. area, like that area, like the DMV area. And she was very, like, she didn't want us to have southern accents because she thought it would limit our employment opportunities. So that's why I don't have a southern accent. <laughs> Marker's too dark. Brain. I just don't understand. It's not that easy. Kristen used to tell me all the time, like, oh my god, Jax is such a good boyfriend. Did Katie used to say that to you? Yeah. You make us look bad. You set the bar too high, but then you That's lower. That's the problem. I set it too high too quickly. That's what I always do in my relationship. I set the bar real high. I, I do, I'm like French Charming. In the beginning. I'm going to need a massage. Uh, I'm working late, so. Uh, yeah, ouch. I am, actually. Um, uh, Thank you for bringing me to work. Uh, I, I didn't know we were going together. I was supposed to bring me to work today. I literally woke up from a nap 10 minutes before my shift and you're gone. I, you know what? I, I honestly, I didn't even think about it. I That's hilarious to live with someone and work, and work at the same work. place and not happens. take them. We both were five o'clock and you literally just left me at home sleeping. 
I walk Why can't you just try and be a good boyfriend and then sleep at home? Why I'm a great boyfriend, so I walk out. Sometimes I need to cool down. That's fine. I go, listen, I'll be back in five minutes. I'm going to go for a walk. You don't ever say that. You've you never once said that. You stand the door and be like, if you come back, I'll call the cops. I'm no, well, the cops I don't say that once in once. In once? once. once. <laughs> I can't continue on another two years in a relationship. I'm looking out for number one. Um, I have done an MLM stream. This compilation is really not doing it for me. This is a Bravo created one, so hopefully it'll have higher production value. This is Jax Taylor versus The Truth. When did this come out? Five years ago? Good. Some old reality TV. Two years, maybe? Oh. When was the last time... You and Stassi spoke to each other. I had a conversation two years, maybe. Oh, that's you ran into her. Interesting, Jack. I ran into her, but that's about it. <laughs> you told Carmen that you had lunch with her. I never had lunch with Carmen. Well, you, I told, me, you told me that she called you just before filming. She never called me before filming. You told me that you guys got married last week. <laughs> I just made the mistake of forgetting it's already, already, that there's no right simple the answer when you ask Jax a question. <laughs> <laughs> Jax Taylor. Can I ask you? I know you're busy, but I want to know about what's going on. Well, we just talked five minutes ago, and it's, I guess, I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's happening anymore. You know, if there was a rumor going around that Brittany and I broke up, well, maybe I was the one that started that rumor, but we're not really sure where things are going. So now they're married. Well, now they're separated. So, like sure, so far. Um, I like it. I guess the bigger question is I forgot this happened. How are the girls treating you here? Uh, you can be honest with me. I don't gossip. I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard for me to say. <clears throat> that a month before everything happened, <sighs> I did go to Vegas and have relations with somebody else. You spent the past two months lying to me, lying to my best friends, making Frank, Jen, and Jeremy look like liars. And just a lie and lie and lie. His face is so different. It really is. How can you ever trust somebody like that? God, I hate Frank. I believe that whole porn star pregnancy thing is a crock of shit. I am. Like, I don't believe it. I am being set up. Did I get a girl pregnant in Vegas four months ago? No. And I believe you 110%. You're not on an honesty, kid. You're not a new man. You're the same fing liar that you've always have been. So sorry. Boom. I lost my friends for months because they believed you because that's how good of a liar you are. Everyone believed you. This is why Stassi doesn't do and reality TV there, anymore. Knowing that you did it and waiting and waiting for you to just be a man and admit it. I'm, I'm sorry what I did to you. <clears throat> well, other lore, Jax fucked Tom Sandoval's girlfriend. Girlfriend at the time was Kristen. Sandoval also cheated on Kristen with Ariana. So they both cheated on each other. That was kind of like a they deserve each other era. Um, but yeah, Jax and Kristen fucked. So that's fucked up because Kristen and Stassi were friends. So like you shouldn't, you know, fuck like your friends. Hey, what's wrong? Faith, what the f is going on? I heard a rumor that you had sex with Faith. It's my mood here. It checks my entire life for this f***ing man. He cheats on me. This is when he cheated on Brittany with Faith, where then she was being racist towards Faith afterwards. And by the way, I missed my period. to you a lot. I think he lies to you very frequently, babe. blatantly disrespecting me. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, how many times can someone say I'm sorry? But I am, truly. And I'm sorry I put you through all this hell. I don't deserve to be working for you. I don't deserve it. Yeah, there's nothing more to be said. Okay, thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much. You know, I worked at Sir. Oh my god, we only have one dinosaur and, left. And now, that train has come to a stop. So They're really so gorgeous. I'm not very good at coloring. I told you all these weren't going to be like good crafts. What color should we do the last one? I kind of think he should be red. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's check in on the otters one last time. Where are the otters? These otters are gonna be unemployed soon if they don't get their asses on camera. I'm gonna color in this last one. Um, 
and then we will freaking get out of here. Are we into this? Do we like just kind of hanging out and talking about bullshit and doing crafts? Because I do want to do deep dives again. Like, I'm definitely not replacing that because I do enjoy that a lot. Um, I know a kid who wanted to start that, but he was from the only farming family in our entire school. Are you talking about Future Farmers of America or whatever it's called? This was a nice break for my brain. That's what I needed is I literally just needed a brain break um, to kind of like do nothing. Um, but I was really into the Legos. We're definitely going to do that again. One thing while I'm coloring this last dinosaur that I do want to chat about is what kind of things do you want to watch while we're chilling? Because I do like watching something together because like I can only narrate so much about coloring. You know what I'm saying? in Legos. Um, so I do kind of like watching something together. However, the problem is I would literally just like put on Parks and Rec or like something like that or like Modern Family is one of my favorites and like hang out. But all the streaming apps are blocked. So like what's something on like YouTube you would like to watch? Like what's some YouTube stuff that you like to watch? Oh my God, what we could do. You know what? I actually just came up with a really good idea. See, this is the power of community and we have ideas together. I can compile YouTube videos of various scandals. So like the bi sister one and we'll watch everyone's videos, but like just the videos, like we're not going to go into like reading about it and all that stuff. We're just going to watch the videos. Bar rescue. Is that on YouTube? Jersey shore, Florida, Bama shore. Yeah, we can watch clips of those. We just can't watch the whole episode. Um, like the bi sister. What are some other like online scandals? Onus own? What is that? Videos of people trying to launch boats. <sighs> you don't have to touch the super, super hardcore dark stuff. Kitchen Nightmares, easy clip page. Oh, I do love Kitchen Nightmares. Let's see if there's Kitchen Nightmares on, on the YouTube. An hour and a half interesting yeah there's a lot of full episodes of kitchen nightmares yeah we can freaking watch kitchen nightmares the only thing is that, that is not going to work for the youtubers so if you're a youtuber on those weeks you're going to miss out i'm so sorry about that but i had a very nice time look how cute the legos turned out so very gorgeous i'm just gonna like give these to kids i think and then i like that we picked the dinosaur page because it was like one thing at a time so thank you so much for being here. I'm live every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. I hope you come back. Um, Trisha or Tanalore. We could watch like a Trisha compilation. That would be good. Um, I hope you had an enjoyable time. I will see you here next week. Love you so much. Thank you for liking, subscribing, all the things. Oh, and I meant to say I recently hit 10,000 followers on Twitch. So that made me super happy. That was like a big goal I was working towards for a while. So I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for being here and I will let you enjoy the rest.